All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you work with uh, spool files or uh, printable output on the uh, AS400 i series and IBM i. Uh, spool files are essentially documents that are reports um, that you can print. Uh, so if you're used to calling them, uh, you know, printable output or whatever, in maybe the Windows world, uh, in this system, uh, they're referred to as spool files. Now look at the spool files that are associated with your uh, user profile. You use WRKSPLF, the, the command. Go ahead and press enter and it will show you all of the spool files uh, that you have out on the system uh, that are sitting in a um, output queue uh, waiting to print or if they're in the process of being created um, they, they'll be listed as well. It, this is anything that is printable, anything that's already been printed, uh, assuming it's not been set to save status, um, will not show up. So if you've printed it and you haven't set the spool file to save, which is an attribute of the, sa of the spool file, uh, it, it'll disappear out of the work with spool files and it's essentially gone from the system at that point. So you can just page up and down through your list of spool files. If you want to look at one, I'll get down to the bottom here. Um, if you want to look at a spool file on the screen, you take option five, you can see it. Uh, in this case, all my stuff is set to go to an out queue, uh, queue print, which doesn't print, it's not hooked up to a printer. Say if you did want to um, move it off to a, a printer or an out queue, uh, that will print. You can take option two on it. And then I usually like to come down here and um, one way you can do it is take option two and press enter and it will prompt you for what out queue you want to um, move your, your spool file to. What I like to do is take an option two and then do out queue and then in this case, you know, uh, PRT01, the name of the out queue that I want to move it to, press enter you can see there it changes it on the screen to LQ PRT01. Now the nice thing about doing it that way by using option 2 and then entering the LQ parameter on the command line is you can come in here now and you can change several spool files all at once. So LQ PRT01 enter and then now you can see all at once I just did all those spool files um, a lot faster than going into each individual job and um, and moving moving them to a different out queue. Uh, the other big uh, option in here is uh, option four for deleting a spool file. So if you want to delete a spool file, take option four, enter, enter again, and you can take that option with multiple spool files at once, and um, that will delete it off the system.